so you are actually ready to become a data analyst the first step is to have a very strong mathematics and uh, statistic background the mathematics that you need for data analysis is just the basic arithmetic and simple linear algebra but the statistics is where things get interesting you have to know uh, a lot between the basic to intermediate level of statistics so in this video i'll try to give you an overview of what statistics is and i hope i can do this in less than five minutes so what is statistics so basically statistics is actually a branch of mathematics that actually deals with how we collect organize analyze and present data in order to draw out conclusions from these data sets to solve real life problems so basically there are actually two branches of statistics we have what we call the descriptive statistics and we have what we call the inferential statistics so the descriptive statistics is actually this branch of statistics that helps us to present collect analyze and process our data sets but it will never make a conclusion from our data set in simple terms descriptive statistics helps you to describe your data set under the concept of descriptive statistics we have the idea of the visual measure picture they say what a thousand words so it applies to statistics also so basically under this patch you're going to be using things like the bar charts the pie charts the histogram you know just to tell a story about a data set and under this same descriptive statistics we actually have the numerical measure and this is where uh, we use calculations and numbers to actually tell a story about our data set now the numerical measure actually splits itself into two we have what we call the measure of central tendency which actually helps us to locate the center of a data set and it consists of the mean the median and the mode and we have the measure of dispersion which actually helps us to define the spread or the width of our data set under this we have things like the mean absolute deviation the standard deviation the variance the range just to mention a few we also have some other properties under this statistics such as skewness cortosis the minimum value the maximum value you know just to mention a few when we leave the realm of descriptive statistics then we move into inferential statistics now inferential statistics is the decision maker this is the branch of statistics where you literally make conclusion about your data set this is where you sit down and you're like okay i am making this conclusion i am deciding that this should happen other inferential statistics we are going to be having things like hypothesis test you know hypothesis test for one sample mean hypothesis test for two sample mean we have things like ANOVA we have the one way ANOVA we have the two way ANOVA we have the ANCOVA we are also going to be talking about the chi-square test for independence the chi the chi-square test for goodness fit the chi-square test for variance just to mention a few we also need to talk about the concept of confidence interval too you know it's also part of the hypothesis test then we are not going to be forgetting regression you know the linear regression the multiple regression and other types of regression we need to know about then correlation and covariance is also not forgotten now i've mentioned the fact that we have just two branches of statistics that is the inferential statistics and the descriptive statistics now in between these two branches there is actually a link there is uh, a bridge that actually connects both branches together now this link or bridge is actually known as probability probability is the tool that we use to make transition from descriptive statistics to inferential statistics so after using descriptive statistics to actually describe your data set and it is time for you to move into inferential statistics to make a conclusion about your data set then probability is actually going to help you with this transition we also have the idea of probability distribution which includes uh, the binomial distribution the poisson distribution the exponential distribution and the concept of normal distribution which is uh, the basis of hypothesis testing you know normal distribution is uh, one of the most popular and the most applicable distribution that we have in the whole of statistics and probability if i can use that word so this is just an overview or a broad view of what the world of statistics actually looks like. I hope I've been able to give you the summary of what statistics is in less than 5 minutes. If you actually enjoyed this video, please give this video a thumbs up. Do you think I missed a topic or I missed something? Please go to the comment section and drop that right there. Thanks for making it to the end of this video and we'll see you in the next one. So bye for now.